What's up guys, welcome back. This is the airbag cover replacement video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the airbag cover and then slap on a new one. Um, so this one I had already done a while back, but it was a little bit crooked, so I didn't wanna post it. Um, so I've been waiting for a replacement one and I finally got that. So this one just doesn't have the embossing on there. So I'll show you guys how that uh, looks differently from what's on the car. Um, and I'll show you guys step-by-step -step on how to you know, disconnect the battery and take out the airbag and all that stuff. So let's get to it. Another thing is this is really hot. I'm doing this in like the middle of summer. I would prefer to do this in the winter because the car cannot be on because you'll disconnect the battery. So you don't have any AC. I got a little fan blowing, but I mean, that's, that's all I got to keep me cool. So I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be a little hot, but you got to do what you got to do. We're going to go to the back of the car and right here. So what you want to do is you want to lift up the cover, take this, this can sit right here, and then your battery's going to be underneath this stuff, so you got to, just a little flap, take this, you might want to take out all this stuff first. Alright, so I got everything removed, we're going to remove this, this whole thing right here, this little tray, just a piece of fabric plastic and you can put that off to the side and so this is your internals so this is your battery that you'll disconnect and you just got to disconnect uh, the red so that's the the part of the battery that you'll disconnect you'll just unscrew this portion right here if you unscrew that, then take this clip off, then the battery will be disconnected. So again, once before you do that, you want to make sure you have everything ready in the car, um, like the windows down or whatever you want to do. Uh, that way, you know, you don't have to fuss with this again. So once this is unhooked, it won't have any power. What you'll need is a number 11 hex head to remove that bolt for the battery. And you don't have to loosen it too much because it's uh, held in by a little T. So as long as you get it loosened up enough, then you can take it out. And that's how the battery is now disconnected. So leave that to the side. And then this portion is done. Another thing you want to do is before you remove the batteries, you want to make sure that the steering wheel is pulled out far enough so you have room to work back there. And then I'll show you guys what's next here uh, behind the steering wheel and how to move the uh, airbag and pop that out. So one thing you'll need to remove the airbag is you'll need some type of like pin or something to push the pin inside the steering wheel column. Uh, you can probably use something like this or like a very small like little Phillips head. Uh, so that will help you push the pin to release the airbag. All right, so behind the steering wheel column, um, if you have one of the drive units, one of these things, it'll be directly, if you have one of these, it'll be directly behind this thing. Uh, so you can kind of see, um, let me get my phone light in here, but let's get that focus. So you can see that little dot, that little brown dot is where you're going to uh, insert a pin to release the airbag. Uh, I'm trying to get a good light here. There we go. Okay, so this thing right here, this is where you want to push in on both sides of the steering wheel. You're going to insert this to release the airbag. And then that, that will release the airbag cover and the airbag from the steering All wheel. Right, so this is a good angle for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to remove this. So again, like I showed you earlier, there's two little holes on either side of the column and that you're going to take some type of pin. I'm going to use this little device right here I guess to push that uh, release button so let's go ahead and do it this part can be a little tricky and aggravating because it's not easy to kind of spot where that where that pin is but uh, just be patient and work your way through it don't don't force anything you don't want to break anything on the inside there's you know cables and stuff and sensor so just be easy 
can see that's one little part right there. You, so right there, I just went literally straight in. Don't try to go up or down. It literally should be right there, straight in. You can see this part's already out. All right, so I just got it all released. So as you can see, this is now the airbag removed. You gotta be very careful because this is tied into a plug right here. So you wanna gently remove this. It's a little tricky because if you don't have small hands, you can't really get in there, but just very carefully remove this plug. It's a little tricky because you gotta pinch two things at once and pull at the same time. All right, so that's the airbag and the airbag cover removed. So we're going to replace this thing. And this is held in by a bunch of little uh, hex head bolts right here. So one, two, three, four. And that's how you'll remove this airbag from the cover. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is the replacement airbag cover that I had got um, that I've been waiting for. So you can see this one doesn't have any embossment on there. It's just the, the airbag cover itself and then the emblem. So one thing about the emblem is that they can't ship it with the emblem in place because it's illegal um, and they'll get trademarked. So this thing comes separated, but the issue with this is, is that these prongs are a lot longer. So then when you put it in there, uh, they stick out the back and then when you put the airbag in, it pushes it back out. So you gotta modify this. You gotta cut some of these things down. Um, that way it won't, um, it won't be pushed out once you push the airbag in. So, so that's one of the downsides about this is that you got to still modify this, um, you know, as soon as you get it. So you got to cut these all down by like half, so it can sit in there without the airbag pushing it back out. So, I already went ahead and did that. Um, so I can't really show you guys that, but just take the Dremel tool or take some type of you know saw or something carefully and cut these all down half. Uh, and I'll show you guys what this looks like once it's in there. And then another thing, there's only one way that the star can go in. You can see this one right here is flat. All of them all are all the same direction. So that's how you know this is the top of the, the airbag cover. And then again, this will only fit one way. It has this flat one right here. So when you put it in, you'll know which way is, you know, the top and bottom. And that's with the star inside of it. And then just to show you guys the back, so you know, that's the back of it. I've cut them all down to where they don't stick out. If you don't cut them out, then these little things would be a lot higher. And then when you put the airbag in, then it'll push it back out. So that's one of the modifications you got to do for it to fit correctly. And so you don't have to glue it because you don't want to have to end up gluing this down because then it's just going to get messy. And then if you get glue on the leather, then you're not going to get it off. So that's just the easiest solution that I saw. And then it'll sit perfectly and it won't come out. So here's the airbag and the airbag cover removed in one piece. As you can see, there's four hex head bolts right here that we'll have to remove. One, two, three, four. And this will release the airbag from the cover. So again, this is the one that I had before. Um, add the embossing on it. And then this one is the replacement one that I got. And this one is uh, without the embossment. All right, and so what you'll need is a number eight hex head to remove the bolts from the uh, airbag. And you kind of want to loosen them all uh, first before you completely loosen it because there is pressure in this. So if you just release one, then it'll kind of pinch. So you'll make sure that you kind of go around and loosen them all up first and then fully remove them. All right, so now that you got all the bolts removed, you can slowly start 
21, that's so out. It is going to be very tightly on there. All right, so this is your airbag. This right here is your airbag. And this is the system that sets off your airbag. So make sure you don't damage this and keep this off to the side in the safe area. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just peel this off the airbag carefully. You wanna make sure you don't damage or rip, you know, or unravel the airbag either. Don't wanna do that. So just make sure you kinda just slowly go around. All right, so this is your airbag. This is the airbag all scrunched together. You wanna to make sure it kinda of stays its form because this would be a headache to try to get back in the same shape. But, so yeah, this is the airbag. Make sure it's all good. I know this is the top, because this is how I removed it. So this would be the top of the, of the emblem. So I'm gonna take our new emblem right here. And then I'm gonna line it up make sure the top this is the top and you're just going to very carefully set this over the airbag make sure it doesn't get too unraveled and again you want to make sure this is all lined up because if this is slightly off to the side then it won't sit right on the steering wheel so make sure it's all lined up And again, when you put it in the steering wheel, you can see that these screws aren't all in the same position. That's meant like that, so you can line it up correctly with this. So you can see there's a bunch of holes and stuff around here, which, which these prongs will then go into to line it up. And then you can also see right here, these two are the only ones that are at this corner. The rest of them are all kind of separated apart at different spaces. But these two right here mark the top of the uh, airbag. So that's how you'll know it'll sit like this when it's all said and done. This will be the top. And again, it shows it right here too. These are all punched in a certain pattern so that all this stuff lines up. So now that we got the airbag on, we're gonna go ahead and line all this stuff up, get it all back in place. So this is an easy step. You're just gonna slide it in here. It'll be a little tough because you gotta squeeze it back inside. You can see how everything, all the black dots from the uh, cover fill into these holes at the right area, and these two are up here. You just want to make sure this is all pushed down right. Be careful, don't damage any of this stuff right here. All right, and then we can start torquing this stuff back down. You want to do it by hand first. It will be a little tough because these screws are, uh, you can only do it so much before it starts catching. And then you'll need to use the tool. All right. All right, and then again, when you tighten this stuff back down, you want to make sure you don't pinch it, and you want to go, you know, opposite 
Uh, that way it doesn't pinch it in one side. So just tighten everything down to where it resists and then move to the next bolt and tighten those down. All right, so that is all tightened back down, installed, ready to go. Just, and again, here's a comparison of the old one and the new one. All right, so now that we got the airbag cover, everything reinstalled, this is the one I'm going to go with. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. There's only one way to put it in. Um, this plug, you gotta make sure you plug this in first. And once you have it plugged in, you'll see these pins right here. And these are all gonna just line up within those, those markings. And there you have it. That is the replacement airbag cover. And again, without the embossments, it looks a lot more straight. Well, actually, it is straight now because the embossments was what's, what was throwing it off. So here you guys go. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, just follow those steps and uh, you can get it done. So, you know, they make a whole bunch of different ones. You can get suede, leather. I went with the leather and the yellow stitching to match the, the car. So, but yeah, I think this really does add a whole other element to the inside and basically just completes the steering wheel at this point. The only other thing I could think of is maybe blacking out all this chrome right here, but I'll think about that a little later. But for now, I mean, this basically completed the steering wheel for me, the carbon fiber paddle shifters, and now this leather and yellow stitched airbag cover, which goes great with the rest of the interior stuff. So. All right guys, so that's the airbag. Once installed, looks a lot cleaner. Looks very straight. Doesn't look off. I mean, I don't think anyone would want to stare at their steering wheel if it was crooked. So. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this Ask Carbon. Uh, check them out on Instagram. I'll tag them in the description and in the video right here in a second. Um, but yeah, they came in clutch. They provided me with the second one because uh, I wasn't happy with the first one. And this is the final result. And I'll have some pictures and stuff on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow the Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Right, so that is the airbag cover replacement install video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Guys, I enjoy making these videos for you guys and I'm loving the reaction that you guys are uh, showing me from making these videos. So it really does motivate me to continue to make these videos for you guys. So, you know, more content will be coming. I promise you that. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram. You know, I'm posting daily content on there and, you know, let's keep it going.